guys and welcome back to another DIY Wednesday. Today we are doing the candle tray um, and another tray um, and maybe a photo frame uh, sort of like lantern with like a dangly glittery bits but we shall see. We'll see how quickly this one uh, is over and done with. So first of all I'm going to use this pound land frame and get rid of the inside as per usual because we don't really want that but it makes for a decent tray it really does um i was going to put two of these together sorry if the camera's a bit shaky i am kind of moving the table quite vigorously oh my god this doesn't want to okay that bit doesn't want to come out so i'm going to just snip it just snip it Right, and this time I'm not going to take the back out. I'm just going to get a piece. I might actually leave it white. I could just leave it white, couldn't I? Yeah, okay, we'll do that. So this is going to be the easiest one. I'm literally just going to put some feet on the bottom again. And I'm going to use the same beads. So I need four, four, Tanya, four. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to add some feet to the bottom. <gasps> no! Did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, it comes off really easily. Right, so yeah, feet to the bottom. Oh, it's not yet ready. Because this was a really nice stand um, on the last tray and I really enjoyed doing it and it looks really nice. So I thought, let me try it again. So yeah, sorry, we've just got straight into this video. I didn't even say anything else. I was like, yeah, hi, hey, yeah, hey, let's do it. <laughs> but that's good sometimes. Good to just get straight to the point. Okay, so feet are on, as you can see. Looks perfect. So now it's got that nice little bit of height right there. I like it. So what's going to go on there is these beautiful... Um, candle holders that I bought from a pound shop recently you'll see it in my haul on Saturday that I went to like a one of those random pound shops in the high street oh that don't come off ah well uh, so what's going to happen is these will sit along here like this and I have a collection of uh, stones like pebbles or I have actual stones these are all from that pound shop and I think because the wood is natural, I might go with the natural stone. So this is, like I said, this is going to be the easiest DIY because I'm not actually doing anything other than placing stones on this board. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I could add some of those ones. Uh, there we go. Wow, look at that. These are just like natural stones. I'm I'm in love a little bit. Is that camera? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I just wanted you to be able to see what's going on. Um. So yeah, that's all I'm going to do with this, and uh, I'll come back to you when I've completely surrounded the the jars. The the jars. The you know what I mean. You you know exactly what I mean. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, that is it. <laughs> probably the quickest and easiest DIY I've ever done in my life. You could add shells to this. Um, these are from the same shop and um, I got these last year sometime. Um, ow! I forgot that the, the, the candles are actual candles and not uh, what's it. So these are just natural shells and they've got like glitter in them so you could actually just add you know a few little ones in there. They're actually beautiful. Look at look at this one. Look at that. How gorgeous are they? So yeah, you could probably add shells in there and but yeah, if you ever find these in sort of like pound stretcher or like a pound shop or pound land, um get them. Because you never know what you can, you know, that you might be able to just, you know, pull out something like this really quick and easy. So I'll show you what that looks like once it's all um placed where I'm going to place it and then yeah I'm just going to move that to one side so DIY number one is done complete easy peasy and it looks really cute so that's over there now
Um, the next DIY I'm going to do will take a little bit longer. I have this mirror. Now, you know, these mirrors came from Pound Stretcher very, very long ago. Um, and I didn't know what to do with them. They're meant to be like a, do you know, like the Ikea mirrors you can buy and you place them on the wall so it makes a big feature mirror. But mine have been sat in uh, a cupboard for a while. So these gems are from Aldi. No, Lidl's last year. Um, just before Christmas, I bought these. I don't know, if, was it last year or the year before? I think it was last year. And I didn't need them, but I see them and they're just scatter crystals like for Christmas. But I was thinking of making a tray. Sorry, I'm just going to use this. Ooh, that noise is horrible because I don't really want the, the shine on there. So what I'm going to do is use some of the gem tack because I know it dries clear. Yeah, um, to stick them down. So I won't be able to move this about as quickly as I usually would. One second. And then I'm going to, I may use hot glue if it doesn't work. Let me just take this hairband off. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start. Actually, maybe I should clean the mirror first. Yes, maybe. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just create a big strip down the side. Now this dries clear, hopefully. And um, yeah, I'm hoping it doesn't look too bad. I'm going to put the points towards the inside and obviously the edges will be faced outwards so i'm going to do those first so i'm hoping they stick and please excuse the kids um obviously i can't do nothing about that they are home with me all day every day so yeah these will move about so you've with this stuff you've got to be really careful but it does dry quite quickly but I don't know if it's going to hold I mean my phone case is still going strong so but I'm going to try and space them out so they're not tilted in any way try and uh, I'll let you listen to some music while I go around and do this <laughs> I'll be right back Okay guys, I've finished that tray. It looks really beautiful actually. Um, I've just got to be really careful and put it to the side because it is not dry. Um, like I said, I use the gem tack because it does dry clear, whereas the glue, the hot glue does not. And I didn't want the, the glue showing afterwards. See, these ones are quite stuck fast now. Um, so I could move move it about so I'm just going to wait a little while longer to to move that and we'll get on with the the next DIY I'm just gonna like I said leave that for a little while and I'll be right back guys okay guys so this last DIY is these pound land frames so yeah literally I've used pound pound shop uh, pebbles and um, tea light holders 
I've used the Poundland frames for these and gems that cost me I think three quid and these gems were from Christmas decorations from eBay years and years and years ago for about ten pounds for like ten strands and these are also Poundland from the wedding section so all of this stuff is really really cheap and you know really really easy to do which is always nice um so with these ones i'm actually going to remove the glass um again sorry about the kids <laughs> uh going to remove the glass and then we're going to have some sort of lantern now i love making these lanterns they are really are really pretty and considering you'd pay double the price that you'd pay to make them i just think you might as well make them yourself so, first things first, I'm going to go around and just remove all the mirrors, mirrors, you know what I mean, the, the glass, and um, I'll be right back. finished I'm just going to place the uh, frames together now I'm not going to do anything fancy with these I'm literally just gonna watch job them together with the hot glue and sorry I'm just uh, seeing if this is going to create like a rectangular shape if I do it like this the last one I did I had left spaces on either side so it did kind of create a rectangular shape. So yeah, I'm going to need to do the same again, like so. Yeah, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Let's let's do that. Uh, okay, so first things first, we need some stands. So I'm going to just put the lid back on my glue and that will be one stand. Try not to set light to the other side. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just glue this part down. I don't want to put too much because I don't want it to... Oh, I've just done it, haven't I? Just make sure it, as long as it matches on the outside, we are good. Because that's where it's going to matter. And I've just noticed there's a big old chip that that end so i'm going to use this bit as the top ah that's annoying okay look how quickly that dried see this is why i do love hot glue i do love hot glue uh so this will be the other side let's place it down realize that makes it oh i've done it again no it's fine you know what i'm like guys and love the love it love it when it all goes wrong because it always turns out all right in the end i won't worry about the the glue so much here as you can see it's just popped out there because i have that bling wrap stuff where is it oh here it is it's right next to me um, I have the thin one that I could use down the edges, so I'm not going to worry about that too much just yet. And this should fit perfectly on top. <gasps> it does! Right, so I'm going to glue the sides and try and stick it down really quickly without messing this up. Here we go. One and two. And it's still warm enough that I can move it a little bit. Eee! It's done. It's done. <gasps> Whoa, that was quick. Look at that. Done, guys. 
Right, so let me just move this stuff. And I didn't even need to use anything to hold it together. That's really, really good. I'm happy with that. These are so light, guys. These frames from the Pound Shop are so light and so easy to use. So, oh, sorry. What we're going to do now is attach the dangly bits to each other. And then what we're going to have, something like this. So this will be, ah, glue gun just fell. This will be dangling down. And it will be dangling like this. And then I'll have one of these long gems beads attached to the bottom. So it will be like dangling. It will be pretty. Trust me, it will be really nice. So I'm going to move this out the way for a second. Then we're going to detach these and attach these to like say, I'm going to do threes and fours maybe. How long is four? Hold on. Guys, I've just found another strand. <sighs> so I can do the four and the three. So yeah, I'll be back. I'm going to fiddle with these and um, I'll be back because that's really annoyed me because I've literally just done this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the fours again. Just attach the, another one to each one of these and to these and I'm going to use some of this crystal wire which is basically like necklace string and that's what I'm going to glue the tops on with so they're dangling down and you can just see them without the yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay I'll be right back hey guys so I'm on to the last one which is a three and I'm just going to show you the process um just so we make it clear. Um, so I took off the three and I'm gonna use one of these uh, findings, little ring. These are stronger than the rings that came with them because they're made for like jewelry, um, jewelry making. Came in a box like this. It's just, they're called findings. So yeah, those ones. And I'm just going to thread that one through and then thread it through one of these. My nails are absolutely battered after this. I really shouldn't have used my nails. I should have used the uh, pliers, but hey. Um, and then, so that's the three done. We're going to take off the top one. And the, I could have just glued these on instead of using string, but I just, I wanted them to dangle, you know, you know, danglies. Okay, now this is not coming out. The minute I need to show you what I'm doing, it's not coming out. So, yeah, I was just cutting a length of the, the wire. I call it wire. It's just plastic. And then I tie it through. Somehow make a knot in that wire. And this bit's really fiddly don't like this bit at all it's uh, I did it I did it and that da a knot so yeah that is all I was doing and I've now got two four six eight so I've got two for each side so I'm gonna quickly just tidy up the area so we can get the lantern back in and then we can start gluing in. So I'm going to start with this side and I'm literally just going to put some glue in the base here, in the base, in the top, and then just glue these on like so. And I hope it works. I might use a, a lollipop stick to uh, put the glue, like hold the glue down because I don't want to burn myself <gasps> like I usually do. Okay, so here we go. I'm scared because I haven't measured this out or anything, so it's literally just gonna, you know, be what it is, you know? <laughs>
my finest work I will admit let me just make sure this is over there okay yeah not my finest work uh, I did make a mistake of using the uh, the string instead of the rings the rings were so much easier to glue on so I switched it out in between so what I'm gonna do is just cover up the seams using the bling wrap and then we are almost done so I'm gonna do that now and I'll be right back with you This is what it looks like. It's not as pretty as I wanted it to look. Like I envisaged it to be something completely different. Um, but now I've run out of this thin one, which would have been perfect to go all the way around the top. But I could always buy some more and finish it off. Or I could use some of my beads, the sticky gems to go up there. Like these ones, let's try it because it does look very unfinished. Um, so I'm just gonna, yeah, that's that's it. I'm just gonna look, look at that one right in the middle. Is that really how it's gonna be? Let me just see if I can peel that off and I'll place it in afterwards because that looks horrid right now. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go that's better it's a little bit better it makes it it finishes off the top a little bit which i prefer so i'm just gonna this won't take too long because it is literally just stick on gems and then we'll be done and i can show you what it looks like once it's all complete like so. I am rushing it now because it's almost dinner time and I need to feed the kids. Right, so there we go. A few more. I think one strand and a little bit at the top. Top? I mean, yes, top to me. Right there. And then literally one left. There we go one in there squeeze guys now now i've finished <laughs> so it's dangling it's pretty i'm gonna put it somewhere and i'll show you what it looks like standing with a candle inside guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next diy take care